God's grace is sufficient in making lives and making them whole. I mean, the entire message is about transformation. It's about turnaround, and it's about reversing the curse that the enemy tried to put on us to hold us in bondage. I break it off of you now in the name of Jesus. Keep believing for that dream that I put in you, says the Lord. Do not back up and do not back down because I am going to bring you into your promised land, says the Lord. If you're willing to raise the bar in this hour, if you're willing to love like you've never loved before, to pray like you've never prayed before, to honor God like you've never honored God before, if you're willing to release yourself to a fresh consecration to the Spirit. Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy will be right there following me wherever I Put on love and actually hear from faith and not fear. I'm Apostle Jane Hammond coming to you from the Christian International Studios, and I am so excited to tell you about what we've got coming up next week. Uh, we are gathering prophets from across the nation and really from, from throughout the world that are coming to bring the word of the Lord to us through for 2024. I don't know about you, but I want to hear what God is saying for this upcoming year. And so thank you guys for joining us. Um, and thank you for jumping on with us. I know that we've got several people that are coming. Let me just call out some of your names. Charles Slater, uh, Charles and Diane, faithful members of our communion live. Wonderful. Uh, Robin Lee. Great to see you on as tonight. Dana, Florence Duty, Steve, Mohammed. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, we always love to hear where our Facebook crowd is watching from. Uh, Gary and Janie are here. Anne Castillo, great to have you on as well. Um, this is always exciting. Our Word of the Lord time of gathering is an amazing time of hearing the voice of the Lord, of connecting to a prophetic community, and getting encouragement, insight, and impartation for the days that are ahead. So um, as you're jumping on, hi, Pastor Mark Galambo, it's great to see you, and Maureen, and Steve, and Robert Ward, great to see you, Lynn King, wonderful to have you jumping on as, with us as well, Fran, wonderful to have you, um, North Palm Church, Randy Clark from North Palm Church, hey, we love you guys, that's over in Charleston, I think, over in the Charleston area, Apostle Tom and I were there that last year. Uh, Dale Rodriguez, Christina, wonderful. Well, as you can tell, I am not Chuck Pierce. I don't have the beard. I don't have the wild, crazy shirt. Um, <laughs> uh, Chuck had something come up um, and is not able to be with us for this live right now. But I just want to just take just a minute and share with you what I believe God is getting ready to do um, in this upcoming year and to kind of give you a little bit of a taste of what God is going to share with us through the word of the Lord. Uh, we had a great Sunday uh, a couple of weeks ago where Bishop Hammond, Apostle Tom and I tag teamed um, to hear, hear, to bring what we were hearing from the, from the Lord. Um, and so I'm going to just share with that with you in just a few minutes. I do want to say Chuck is a mainstay here. Chuck has been with us for over 30 years, running with us in the prophetic. He is a dear, dear friend of this ministry. He's like a brother to us. He just had some things that happened this morning that uh, put him out of commission to where he couldn't come on and jump on live with us. But I know that Chuck's going to be talking to us a lot about this Hebraic season that we're in, 5784. And we all know that the, the 80 part of that is the word pay. And if you've been following the Hebraic calendar at all, you know that the word pay is a Hebraic word that means mouth, voice, and sound. So what's coming out of your mouth during this season of time, during this decade, is so important. And the, what's coming forth from your voice has the ability to open the doors. The four is the year of the door. And so uh, when I looked at that, I saw voice and door. And I believe the Lord said that this is a time of voice activated doors. I know that Chuck's going to be going into this a lot more um, in his session with us for the word of the Lord. I want you to mark your calendars. It's going to be next Thursday, January the 18th through the 20th, starting at four o'clock in the afternoon, central time. 
And we're going to be hearing from amazing speakers. We're going to hear from Bishop Hammond himself, the father of the modern prophetic movement. We're going to hear, of course, from Chuck Pierce. We're going to hear from Patricia King, an amazing prophetic voice into the world today. Um, we're going to hear from Tommy Arayami. Those of you that were with us in the October conference last year got to hear from him from the first time from this platform. And I know he blessed so many people uh, with his ministry, with his messages, with his words. And so you're going to want to definitely uh, tune in for that. Uh, we've got Rabbi Kurt Landry, a dear, dear friend of ours, um, who's going to be uh, bringing a perspective again um, from the one new man perspective and the the Hebraic calendar and understanding what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. He is a he is a a spirit filled believer. He's a prophet. And he's a rabbi, all wrapped up into one. So you're definitely going to want to tune into his session and hear what it is that he's saying to us for this season. Uh, we've gotten to share together, and he has got some powerful, powerful things that he wants to release to us and that he wants to prepare us for in the upcoming year. We're also going to hear from Jennifer LeClaire, uh, again, a dear friend of ours, and just so many others that are going to be bringing the word of the Lord to us. And so I want you to tune in. We're going to have some anointed worship. Pastor Dean is going to be leading us in worship, as well as Roberto Reynoso. He is from Dominican Republic, and he is going to be leading us uh, in worship as well. Uh, the entire conference is going to be presented in Spanish. And so you're definitely going to want to share this with your Hispanic friends and let them know so that they can get on and they can register as well. Um, it's going to go Thursday through Saturday evening. And so it's going to be packed full of uh, hearing the voice of the Lord through many different prophets. And from what I've been hearing from different people, um, it really is a season that we need to hear from God. It is a season that we need to be prepared. And it is a time that God is listening for the sound that's coming from his people, that pay sound that's coming from his people. Listen, I don't know about you, but 2023 was a little bit of a challenging year. And I think that as we're coming into 2024, these words of the Lord help to reset us for everything that is ahead. It helps us to get a focus. It helps us to, to set our eyes on what the Lord says he wants to accomplish. And listen, if we don't have that, there's so much stirring in the earth. There's wars, there's rumors of wars, there's a, a powder keg in many different nations. And so we, the people of God, need to understand what God is saying about this season so that we know how to pray, so that we know how to prepare, and so that we understand the power of the prophetic voice of the Lord. The word of God tells us that we are to wage war by the prophecies, that we're to war a warfare with the prophetic words that are going over us and that are going through the body of Christ right now. These words are not just to tickle our ears. They are, they are tools for us. They are weapons for us to fight with in the coming days. And so the importance of hearing the word of the Lord for this season is probably like no other year. Um, I did see a meme that was circulating on Facebook um, at the end of 2023, and it was a guy on the phone, and he's like, uh, yes, Lord, um, I want to make sure that I'm signed up for the blessed and highly favored package for 2024 and not the, the trials and tribulation package that I accidentally subscribed to in this last year. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, 2023 was a little bit challenging. Hey, John Bell, great to see that you're jumping on with us. Lynette, wonderful to have you with us as well. Um, yes, it's a reset season. Absolutely. Hey, Mary Lou. Hey, Daniel Pentecost. Love you guys up there in Illinois. I hope that you're staying warm in that really, really cold weather up there. Joyce, great to see you on with us as well. Um, and Brenda, yes. Um, question came, will this be live streamed on Facebook? The evening sessions will be live streamed, but to get everything that all the prophets are saying, you're going to want to go ahead and get registered for this conference. And we're going to be putting a link in the comment section so that you can go ahead and hit that link and get registered. Um, this previously was, um, being, uh, presented and, and being released to you for, um, uh, like $159 for the entire package. And you get all of the downloads, you get 
all of the messages. You can listen to them in your own time. Uh, but we've got a special going right now that if you'll sign up right now, um, we present the entire conference for $89. And you can have all of the messages download. You can have those to refer to over and over throughout the year because I, I know that there's such rich word that is coming forth from these prophets. I don't know about you, but just with Chuck Pierce alone, I like to listen to it over and over again so that I can get the fullness of what he's saying um, and prepare us into the year. Sometimes, listen, you might hear a word at the beginning of the year and as the year unfolds, you're like, wait a minute, I heard this said in the Word of the Lord conference. Let me go back. Let me review. Let me see who it was that said that and what exactly they they said. And so um, I want to encourage you that. Hi, Teresa from California. Wonderful to have you on. Lucy Roberts, wonderful to see you. Um, yes, we are looking forward to this conference. Um, and Ted Goodwin, great to see you. Uh, we are looking forward to having all of you join us. Listen, in this time of conference, we're going to have a uh, prophetic ministry. So everybody that's registered, um, through the link that we're going to, that is up on your chat room right now, everybody gets prophetic ministry. And those of you that would like to go through our deliverance ministry, let me just say, I think it's great at the beginning of the year to get a fresh word from God as well as to get some deliverance, let me just say, uh, to kind of reset you again for this upcoming year. Um, I, I've i been, um, Apostle Tom and I are going to be sharing at this conference as well as Bishop Hammond. And I'll just give you a little, a little taste of what Bishop is sharing about. He was talking about um, how Job went through... Um, trials and difficulties and actually came to a time where he lost everything. And he really felt like the last five years have been a time of trying, a time of testing, a time of, of overcoming. Of course, during COVID, we had to overcome a lot. Uh, but he really felt like the Lord was saying that, you know, there came a point where God said to Satan, your time's up. Enough is enough. And when that happened, then we go to the last chapter of Job. It says that the Lord blessed Job when he prayed for his friends. But after that, God blessed Job with double of everything that he lost. And Bishop is going to share with us how uh, in this season of time, God is basically drawing a line in the sand and saying enough is enough. And that he is going to give us double. God is going to give us double for our trouble. Some of you might want to write that in the chat room. Uh, some of you might want to hit share on your um, on your feed. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, um, if you're watching on YouTube, you might want to share this around. Listen, Bishop is telling us that we're going to have double for our trouble this year. And we've got to set our faith. Listen, when a word comes from a prophet, it's not just a good idea. It's not just a word of encouragement. It literally sets our faith forward into the upcoming year. Um, uh, Apostle Tom is going to be talking about how God is challenging, challenging us to leap into the more in 2024. And he's going to, he's going to share with us what that means and how God is calling us, uh, not just to stand still and be on the defense when the enemy comes at us, but he's literally calling us to run to the battle this year, run to the battle. It, yes, it's going to be a year of contending. Yes, it's going to be year year where we're going to have to face some giants, okay? I don't know about you, but things are stirring up in the earth, and we're going to need to learn how to contend on a new level and how to face our giants. Um, one of the things that the Lord said to me about this upcoming year is my, my phrase, Bishop's phrase is double for your trouble. Apostle's fra phrase is leap into the more in 2024. I'm sorry, my phrase doesn't rhyme. <laughs> my phrase doesn't rhyme, but what the Lord said to me is that this is going to be a year that his people are going to learn to experience victory over chaos, victory over chaos. And this really kind of goes back to something that the Lord said to me in August of 2020. Of course, we were in the middle right now uh, at that point uh, of the COVID lockdowns. We were in the middle uh, of a lot of political upheaval and a lot of things that were stirring. Um, and the Lord gave me three things in prayer one morning. He said, number one, I need you to tell the people that chaos is getting ready to increase. 
I know that's not a very exciting word, <laughs> okay? This is what the Lord said to me. He said, chaos is getting ready to increase. And, and, and we've definitely seen that over the last several years. This was August of 2020. Chaos is going to increase. The second thing that he said is, but I'm going to use chaos to strip the covering off of corruption and things that have been being done in secret and wrong ideologies, wrong mindsets, wrong agendas that are being put forth within nations. The Lord says, I'm going to actually use the chaos to strip the covering off of those things to bring them to exposure. And then the third thing the Lord said to me is he said, then tell them the God of peace is rising. The God of peace is rising. And he said it three times. The God of peace is rising. Some of you need to write in the feed, the God of peace is rising because that's a decree over our lives for this upcoming year. Romans 16, 20 declares, and the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath your feet. So let me just say that God is going to show us how to position ourselves in order for us to experience victory over chaos in the upcoming year. And I believe that God is going to rise for us. God's going to rise as the man of peace. And for some of you that just think that the man of peace is, is that, that the God of peace, that he's just, he's just chilled out, tranquility, peace. No, when the Lord said that to me, I went to Isaiah chapter nine, verse six, where it speaks about the names of God. His name shall be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace and of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. And when I looked up the phrase Prince of Peace, I found in the Hebrew, it is the phrase Sar Shalom. We all know the word Shalom. It's, it's a great greeting in the, in the Jewish community, in the Jewish culture, Sar Shalom. The word Sar is the word for Prince. And listen, sometimes we think the word Prince means somebody that sits on a throne and wears a crown. But let me tell you what this word means. And this, I think, gives you a picture of what we're getting ready to encounter in 2024. The word sar means uh, one who wrestles, one who wars, one who governs, and one who rules. So if God is rising as the God of peace, as the Prince of Peace this year, he is one who wrestles. He's going to wrestle for us. He's going to war for us. He's going to extend his kingdom government this year, and he's going to show his rulership. One of the things I felt for 2024 is that it's going to be a year of increased authority for the body of Christ and a year of unshakable faith, increased authority and unshakable faith. And so I want to encourage you to, to, to lay hands on yourself, activate yourself, um, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word, which is, again, it's the written word, but it's also the rhema word, the prophetic word that's coming that's going to cause our faith to be unshakable. So God's going to rise for us as a mighty man of war. But what's interesting is that when you look at the word shalom, we know it means peace, prosperity, favor, completion, wholeness, all the blessings that God wants to bring in that word shalom. But when Hebraic scholars look at the word shalom, they don't just look at the whole word. They look at each of the individual letters that make up the word shalom. There's four Hebraic letters, and each one of those letters has a word picture associated with it. And so as uh, I, I promise you, I'm not going to start sounding like Chuck. I'm not even going to try to start sounding like Chuck because Chuck is deep. Chuck understands things out of the Hebrew that I will never understand. But let me just say this is that when Hebraic scholars look at this word shalom, they say that the word picture created by the letters means this. Peace comes when you destroy the authority of chaos. So if you want to understand what this year is about, it is about destroying the authority of chaos. And we're going to learn through the word of the Lord how to destroy that authority over our own lives. Hey, has there been chaos in your family? I'm telling you, God wants to give us victory over chaos. The Prince of Peace doesn't just want to rise for nations. The Prince of Peace wants to rise for you wants to rise over your family, wants to rise over your finances. The Prince of Peace wants to rise up and crush chaos underneath our feet. He wants to give us victory 
in places where the enemy maybe has been taking a spoil. I believe this year we're going to see victory over robbery. The enemy's been been bringing robbery against people, robbing our children, um, robbing our finances, robbing our peace, robbing our blessing. I'm telling you, I believe this is a year that God's going to show us how to prosper regardless of what's happening in the world. And we're going to be kind of sharing some of those things. And, and I believe that God's going to show us how to walk in a place of peace and victory, regardless of what's happening and how we, the people of God, the ecclesia can rise up and exercise our authority, our increased authority over chaos. I believe that's what 2024 is going to be about. And so I really want to encourage you again, that this is such a key time for us to hear the voice of God. Uh, Psalms 29 verse four says, the voice of the Lord is powerful. That word powerful is the Hebrew word koach, and it literally means the voice of the Lord is a force, okay? So it, in the chat, why don't you guys just, just real quickly pop into the chat, what area of your life you are believing to see victory over chaos? Is it in your family? Is it in your finances? Is it in your ministry, in your business, in your nation? What area is it that you are expecting to see this new level of authority exercised to destroy the power of chaos? You know, throughout scripture, chaos is, um, is pictured as a sea monster or as a dragon. And I believe that God's going to give us dragon slaying faith this year, okay? And so, but we've got to exercise our faith. We've got to stir ourselves up. We've got to have expectation. We've got to arm ourselves with the word of the Lord. We've got to arm ourselves with the scripture. We've got to arm ourselves by being part of a prophetic community. This is not a day to stand alone. And this is a day that we've got to constantly have the word of the Lord in our heart, in our ears, and in our mouth. We've got to say what God says. So as you're uh, participating with us in this conference, take notes, make notes about what the Lord is saying so that you can say it too, so that you can decree a thing and have it established for you and light will begin to shine on your way. I want to remind you, we've got Bishop Hammond, the father of the, pro the prophetic movement is going to be sharing with us. We've got a, my husband, Apostle Tom and myself, we're going to be both sharing. Uh, uh, Dr. Chuck Pierce, I mean, such an amazing, amazing prophet that is prophesying to nations. Uh, he is in Corinth, Texas over global spheres, and he is going to be breaking down some things that the Lord has said to him that's going to give us practical tools to know how to advance into this next year. Patricia King, such an apostle of love, but uh, such a woman with a cutting edge prophetic word, always brings a challenge, always brings uh, an impartation of what the Lord is wanting to bring to us for this season of time. So please be sure to get registered. I want to remind you there is a link in the chat that's going to help you to, to register. Just click that link and it'll take you immediately to a portal that will get you registered for this conference. We're going to be hearing from Enos Chamberlain um, out of uh, Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. Um, we're going to be hearing from Tom, Tommy Ariami, um, and I know that he's bringing a fresh word from heaven, Jennifer LeClaire, so many others. I just want to say, you do not want to miss this. Set some time aside, uh, Thursday, January the 18th through Saturday evening, January the 20th. And uh, yes, I see all of you in the chat room are signing up, get registered. Let me know that you're registered. Okay. Uh, let me know that you're clicking in and registering. Yes. Very, very good. Hallelujah. Excellent. Excellent. I love how y'all take notes in the chat. That's excellent. I see so many familiar names. Well, we are looking forward to having you with us. And I want to just speak a word of prayer over you because I know some of you feel like, you know what? You've touched on some things. You've touched on some issues that I've been dealing with in my life. And so, Father, right now, I pray for every single person that's watching this live and those that will watch it later, Lord. And I speak right now the peace of God and that the God of peace is rising over your life to crush Satan underneath your feet. I decree, Lord, that you are 
uh, opening up our ears, opening up our eyes, opening up our spirit man, Father, for 2024, to hear the word of the Lord, to hear God's voice in a new way, Lord. Lord, let us be like spiritual sponges, Lord, that are soaking up everything that you're saying to us in this season of time so that we can use the word of the Lord as a weapon. Lord, that that word, the, the, the word of the Lord is a force is a, a word in Hebrew koach, which literally means that it, it, it is a, uh, it, it's a, it's a force. It's powerful. It's mighty. It moves immovable objects. And Lord, I believe that the voice of the Lord is powerful and will manifest for us this year that way. Isaiah 30, 31 declares, Lord, that the voice of the Lord will shatter the enemy. I pray right now, Father God, for every single individual, Lord, I break off discouragement. I break off intimidation. I break off fear and I break off hopelessness right now in the name of Jesus. If you're discouraged, if you're if you're feeling helpless or hopeless, let me encourage you, in Jesus, we are never helpless, we are never hopeless. God is drawing us into that new place of relationship with Him so that He can empower us with a greater level of authority. So Father, I do pray that right now, Father God, a greater level of intimacy and a greater level of authority, Father God, so that we can destroy the authority of chaos. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us for this live. And I want to encourage you again to go ahead and, and don't put it off. Jump on right now, hit that link in the chat, and go ahead and get yourself registered for this conference. It's going to be a life-changing weekend. It's going to be life-changing moments that I believe are going to empower us throughout 2024 to have victory over chaos and to leap into the more and to experience double for all the trouble the enemy's dealt out with us, for us over this last season of time. Bless you all. We look forward to seeing you during the conference and we love seeing your names pop up in the chat. Thank you so much for interacting with us, but we look forward to seeing you live for our online Word of the Lord conference, January 18th through 20th. God bless you all.